Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to set up the ABB T-Max Electronic Circuit Breaker. On the front of ABB Circuit Breakers with an electronic trip unit are a group of dip switches. For demonstration purposes, I will be using the PR221DS dip switch setup. This offers a protection against overloads with a long inverse time delay and short circuits with either an instantaneous or an inverse time delay trip. My first set of dip switches is labeled L for protection against overloads. Here I can set my tripping threshold, which is set to 0.4 of the maximum current rating of the circuit breaker when all the dip switches are set down. I can switch any number of dip switches with a screwdriver to change the overload tripping threshold up to 100%. The values increase in addition to the 0.4, so if I have the first two switches of 0.04 and 0.08 up, then my overload threshold would be 0.52 or 52% of the maximum current rating. I can also set the trip curve time delay with the T1 dip switch here. My next set of dip switches is for setting either a short time delay with S or an instantaneous time delay with I. When the S function is selected, the dip switches at T2 will determine whether the trip time is set to one tenth of a second or a quarter of a second. The dip switches in the middle will determine the short circuit threshold. This can be from 1 to 10 times the maximum current rating of the circuit breaker. My last dip switches on the right are for setting the neutral. This can be turned on or off and can be set to 50 or 100%. For circuit breakers in the T2 through T6 range, this can be set directly from the front. ABB's T-Max electronic circuit breaker along with thousands of other products and services are available at Gelco.com.